Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Quick channel. I will try to come back on after and go live with you guys. Okay, the energy right now is just insane. Insane. Okay, so I'm going to do something real brief. I'm not going to timestamp it. Um, well, no, 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 sorry. Well, timestamp the date. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Um, energy is fluent, so this could have happened weeks ago, or it can happen a couple weeks, or it can take place today or tomorrow. Okay, so. So don't worry about the um all the noise, okay? I, I know that has a lot to do with what's going on right now too. So let's see what we're looking at. Let's see what we're looking at. Nine. Nine of Swords. Stressed out, not sleeping. Some of you are having a hard time eating. Worried. Juggling, trying to stay grounded. Trying to figure out what's next. Purging. Curiosity, discontentment, tired of the same old thing. For some, this is random. Choosing options. Some of you are prepping lunches throughout the day. Okay. Um, Trying to eat well, going to the gym, taking care of yourself, wondering why things aren't working out. Okay. There's that nine of pence, taking care of yourself, being confident, being independent. Um, I'm feeling some of you are not liking being independent right now like that. Um... I feel like this is one energy going back and forth. Sometimes you're sleeping well, sometimes you're doing well, sometimes you're super confident, sometimes you're just, you're having a hard time. Um, I will tell you, because the, the, the 99, okay, is sticking out right now, and hold up. And it, they're, they've been sticking out, okay. So, here's the thing. This is a love reading. The angel number 99 is a pretty powerful number. It is often related to leadership and wisdom. When you seek a 99, it means you should seek and use your intelligence and leadership skills to evaluate your life. It also means you have found the paradox, okay? That if you love until it hurts, there can be no more hurt, only more love. So... There's, there's confusion, you know, for sure, there's, there's confusion, um, and it, it's all about getting on your path, your direction, your purpose, where you want to go, finding the balance, what type of partnership this can be, it speaks of communication, um, it, it speaks of judgment, you know, judgment, planning, it, it's, it's the back and forth, back and forth, it's, it's overthinking, it's, it's a lot of things, okay, let's see what else we get. the lovers. Okay, so this is a bond that's clearly already here. Okay, this is that love. 
This is different lifetimes of bullshit, chaos, curiosity, wonder, direction, seeking, temptation, Ace of Pents, having a new start, giving time, devotion. This is this is the universe, okay. This is the universe giving you an opportunity for happiness, to to have a family, to build uh, a better foundation, to raise kids in a uh, to raise kids in a happy environment. Um, travel, fast life, like fast energy, but like taking that time to really reevaluate, taking vacations, resting when you need to rest, um, being comfortable with each other, um, public affection, it's, you know, it's a lot of things, but it's, there's that other nine, okay? So... And I, I say it like that because I, I knew it was coming. Do you have that that strength to, to go one last fight? Do, do you want to be vulnerable? Do you want to open up? What do you want to see? Where do you want to go? What is it you really truly want? Do you, Can you have that? Can you have that fight? That last fight that it's going to take? And it, it is going to be a battle. It is not going to be... Um, an easy scenario at all. Um, there's different meanings, but this is, you know, perseverance, persistence, in spite of all those obstacles, being discouraged here and there, you know. Um, it, it's between the strong and the weak, the strong and the weak. You, It's like back and forth energy, no matter how tight this bond is, no matter how much you want this, that, no matter how much you can have that happy. It is the strength in the weak, okay? It's just, it's the back and forth energy. What do I want? What do I not want? How is this going to go? You know, it's, it's how are you going to embrace these changes? How are you going to take steps back? How are you going to relax? How, how do you want to live your life? Okay, there's, there's so many different explanations here for this particular thing. But this is getting out of a cycle, letting a cycle complete. Okay, aligning yourself with a brand new purpose, a stronger frequency of energy. Okay, um, it's ended, it's, it's completed, but this is something that's coming back around. And it could be brand new or it could be your past, ladies and gents. Okay, so again, it's almost like mutual energy, but this is what's this is what's happening between the two of you. There's that other nine, okay? So, actually, it's a six. So, I feel like that other nine is going to come out. All right? This is you addressing karma. This is you getting out of the 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 strength, the weakness, the strength, the weakness. It, it's you aligning, okay? This can be an apology or it can be somebody actually sharing how they feel, okay? Um, it could be the self-sabotaging energy, I, you know, but we're not, we're not going to go there, but this is a message. Okay. And it, and it does have to do with your spirituality, your higher purpose, taking a new journey or, or being in this relationship, being in this committed relationship. Okay. So let's get one more card. I normally look at this as somebody expressing how they feel. Um, but this is this is that like one last fight, you know. Can you do it? Can you go express how you feel? Can the two of you honestly express how you feel? Because guys, you have to remember this is this is mutual energy. This is this is a mirroring effect that's happening right now. Okay. That message is coming. That communication is coming. A 
this is like a path that was unchosen. This is going towards something. This is leaving the, the mystery up to leaving leaving webs along the way, leaving things up to our mystery, accepting what's happening, coming together, working together, moving forward, no matter what direction. This is, it's guided, okay? So it's trusting the journey without knowing what what the future holds. Even though you think you have like an inkling, anything can happen at any time. It's compromise, it's communication. This bond is strong, okay? But it's a matter of the two of you owning up to your shit and having that strength to go towards your happy, okay? So when you have the eight, this is going towards your happy, okay? So it, it's not walking away. It's, it's building something solid. It's stability. It's happiness. So this is, this is tough because you're battling. You guys are battling your energy. Some nights you're sleeping, some, again, some nights you're, you're confident. What's happening is things are being aligned, so your energy is up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay. Um, just going to get you one advice card. Ultimately, it, it's going to be up to you on what it is you guys decide. Best advice for this card. Overall message. Overall message. Okay, well, that's a lot. That's a, that's a whole lot. Okay. The Emperor. Okay, logic, structure, discipline, leadership, and that's the two of Earth. Too much going on at once. You need to make a you need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Okay, so this is it's like that two of Pence. Too much going on at one time. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, which is which is normal. Okay, that that's how energy works. But the bigger picture here is somebody needs to take the lead. Somebody needs to confront this situation. So you guys can walk to your happy. So you can have this stability. So you can have the ten of pence. Family life. Career life. Home life. So it's at the bottom of the deck. It's a decision that needs to be made. But somebody's procrastinating. It's saying stop procrastinating. This procrastination has been happening for a little while now, okay? But it, it, it's it's so karmic, so it makes complete sense on, on why it's happening. But in all reality, you can have what you want, what you seek. I can't believe this song is on. It shouldn't even be on right yet. That's <laughs> color me bad. That's so crazy. I want to sex you up. It's insane. That's so old school, guys. It should not be on my <laughs> my freestyle. That that's a song for somebody, okay? But we know there was temptation. There's desire. There's all sorts of stuff here, okay? This is everyday mumbo jumbo, but this is a lot of mumbo jumbo, okay? So it's you want to clear all this mumbo jumbo up, you know? Have that conversation. Confront the karma. Have that one last fight, that one last battle. Speak up. Go towards your happy. Doesn't it say something about TikTok too? It, it's it's just time. Yeah, TikTok, get up, don't stop. That has to do with the lovers. Let me take off all your clothes. It, there's just is so much, guys. It is it's so much. I guarantee this was this was you know how you know what just came to me, which is crazy. They say when you're 13 or 14, it's something like that, and that a hit song kind of like shapes your life, your karma. It, it's something about that. There's some type of link there in it. I, I just brought it up because that's what came to me. This was not one of my songs. Well, maybe it was one of my jams back then. 
it's close to that era but not enough to me be like oh that was my jam you know but knowing that I really liked it but um just google it yourself if you're not aware of the song okay I want to sex you up color me bad um let's see what the overall message is for that the meaning of I want to sex you up color me bad it might have more than just kind of like Come inside, take off your coat. I want you to come home, being relaxing, you know, knowing that you're not alone. Been waiting somebody for a very long time. Um, <clears throat> making each other feel good. Can't be wrong, it feels right. It's one of those things where it feels right, but you question whether it's wrong, you know. Wanting to be rescued. There's, you know, opening up your heart so you'll be set free. See what I'm saying? Go look up the lyrics, okay? Because basically everything in this is basically saying almost a lot of things I said. You know, it, it's it's drowning in fear and emotion. and it, it's So it's a lot more than, you know, what people just think it is. You know what I mean? Um... You know, obviously it's because, you know, when they started this, it's they wanted to get, like, freaky. So I understand, like, how some people would take that. But if you actually look at the lyrics, it, it says a lot. And it, and it does have a lot to do with fear and confronting certain things, okay? You guys can do it. If this is somebody who needs to go towards this, then go towards it. If it's somebody who needs to... to to wrap this up for good and move forward, then then you need to do that too. But this is more of a lover situation. You're both kind of feeling the same kind of strength, having the same kind of weaknesses, definitely mirroring each other, um, giving it one last fight. It's like having the same goals too, the same outlooks. Um, it's just a matter of whether or not the connection comes around this time or not, you know? Ultimately, you guys make that decision, but it looks like somebody here just needs to take the lead, okay? There just needs to be a more playful approach here versus overwhelming thoughts and, you know, the procrastination, you know, it's it's making, making that decision. But I truly feel like it boils down to the tool you having to make that decision. Which energy are you going to let get the best of you? You know what I mean, jelly beans? I love you guys. Have a fantastic day. I'll be back later, Gators.